Hi guys. Well, we're still working on that blade. It kind of looks a lot better than it did. Um, I don't know if I showed you in this this picture here or in this thing. This thing had somewhere along the line a catastrophic failure. You can see a insert. Somebody repaired the shoulder here. It looks like they did a real nice job. And then it looks like here and here they put in two these are what they call standall teeth I did this in a short also so if you're interested and there's also down here if you can see the X there's a shank with a crack in it so that was uh, not looking too good anyhow this uh, the, the weight of this thing's kind of hurting me a little bit so what I'm trying to do is make a saw bench for saws or, or just it's it's not necessarily I, I have to I have to show it to you how it works. This these are those big heavy tables that I made. These are uh, one inch pieces of steel. And what I'm going to do is just drill in there, then drill bigger, then drill bigger, then run a a uh, half inch by um, I don't know a half inch fine thread tap in there, and put a pin out there. And you got to put a loop on and all that kind of stuff. But I I doubt that I'll be doing that. I, I might mess around with something like that I'm not sure try to make a little bit of a hammer bench uh, well I'm not gonna hammer just something to handle these saws a little bit better and I might might find that this this hole in here turns out to be a pretty good hole anyway so I started drilling and I said well maybe you guys like to come along and see fat boy work um, so I got some of this stuff here works pretty good uh, true tap works pretty good for drilling too we'll put a little little oomph, a little squirt in there. I thought I had a, here's an old towel down here. I don't really feel like getting it on me too much. And we'll put a little bit on the bit on the uh, drill. I already started drilling and then I figured, well, it come along. Now this is what a good belly's all about. And a nice chair. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm straight this way. I can't really tell. these got chip bound that even happened that happens everywhere probably because of the oil Well, I see my holes kind of going a little bit that way, but I think maybe I can straighten it out in the next few. in there That thing slipping so much. We're that's about two inches. Let's see what we got here. Uh, that ain't too bad. I want to see how far off I am. I gotta go get a. Well, it wouldn't do me any good. I was going to say, get, put a machine square on there, but this is not a square edge, so it doesn't make any difference. I ain't worrying about it. Now I'm going to 3 8 as I recall. 3 8 tore up, and then I'm going to 29. 
29 30 seconds I think is what I'm going to I'm going to that bit right there though I can tell you that wrong way Jose I should have probably got an electric cord drill out Put a little goop on there. Ah, uh, got got curly cues in my hair there, guys. I'm pushing. Ah, this drill cuts out. I put it on slow speed. I think it's cut out right now. Oh, these damn. They don't make them like they used to, guys. Come on, drill. Oh, I'm out of juice on that battery. Didn't take long for that. I got to go get it. Oh, this is number two. Number two battery's bad anyway. Let me go get a battery that ain't going to give up the juice. <clears throat> this is a right good healthy battery. Yeah, I seem to always have battery problems, don't I? Oh well, this one here should be all right. This one's gonna have a lot of poop to it, so. Huh. Oh well. I'm a pushing with all my belly. Sometimes it pays to have a big belly. I might be there. Good chance I'm there now. Probably I'll give it a little more oomph. Woo! I think I'm uh two inches deep. Let me get a micrometer. Ugh. Didn't come prepared as usual, did I? Yeah, that's an old one full of metal, pe metal pieces from being next to the mill. Well, that's about how deep it is. I think we're good enough. Now we'll move up. This is supposed to be a 20. I can't read it with these goofy safety glasses on. I can't read it without the safety glasses. I need a magnifying glass. I know I read it before it came out. There it is. Boy, you can't read it at all. I'd like it to be right. 29 64 in this direction. Make sure you drill the hole the right way. My light bill went out. That light goes on and goes out all day long. It doesn't really matter. That thing don't feel too good in there. 
There, it feels happier now. All right, let's give it a little bit of squirt. And let's do this again. We got squirt coming out. I got to put my eyeballs on. Got to get it halfway straight. Let's see what we can do now. Oh man, it's don't need to push that much. It's got some bite to it. That that appears to be a right sharp, a right sharp. Uh, what do you call it? Drill bit. Man, those are some right good chunks. Crap. Damn, gone. I was hoping it'd break off inside so I get the. We don't need to be quite that aggressive. Yeah, I can see I'm going off a little bit of an angle. Yeah, that old drill that I had, it was Milwaukee. It would have walked right through this. I think I'm there. Ouch. A little bit hot. Alright, let's put some goop in here. And we'll put some goop on this. I should probably get the air gun over here. Trouble is, this one, I hope it'll straighten up. No, I'm not going to cut it with the uh, drill. These four fluted taps are very thin and they like to bust off really easy. So I'm just going to take it nice and easy, Greasy. You've got a long way to slide. Can't get, it, can't get it to restart. There it goes. And it doesn't, doesn't like this. But it's the size it's supposed to be there. I don't feel like pushing it a whole lot. Let me uh, get my air gun here. Once again, I'm always prepared, right? Always prepared. When you see what this thing does, what are we at time-wise? Eh, we're only at 13. It didn't take me too long to do this. It didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to take me to do this. Of course, I got... I got a lot of setup, believe it or not. Alright. Put some more goo on here. Might be a mental thing. See if this will go in there. I think that's I think that's a half inch fine thread. Come on there, baby. Yeah, look at that. This might be a successful thing after all. Nah, we can't do can't. Alright, we're biting in again. Boy, that's hard. I know that thing's gonna snap off. I can feel it in my bones. I'm only gonna get one turn. I think that was a light 29 64s. Oh, air is all the way over there. Yeah, I'm not. 
crap out of there. Steam engine. I think I'll try some of this. Yeah, I can see it there. I probably got enough threads in to do what I want now. I should have cut it in coarse threads. I got better taps in coarse thread. This one here is... I've had this since... Oh my goodness. Longer than I want to think. Man, that just doesn't feel good. I think this one... This one's wore out. How far am I in there? I'm only in there a hair. I didn't even get any grindings on that one. Man, that is tight. I know I'm going to break this thing off. Maybe this stuff worked better here. I think it does. Yeah, I think I think that stuff worked better. The other stuff is just transmission fluid. Clean out time. Clean out time. Let's see how far in we are. I think that will hold it enough to do what I need to do. That's, yeah, I like it a little further. This thing needs to come out to about here. I need to find a long one, which that'll probably be the next biggest challenge. We will put some in there to push it in with the threads when it goes in. If I get a few more bites on it, I'll be happy. Right. If it works, I can uh, always cut more threads in it later. Woo! That didn't feel good at all. Don't drop that whatever you do. Oh my goodness, look at all the grindings I got down there. Crap. This is an old Craftsman tap and die set I've had since probably the early 70s. And it's uh it's one of those things where you don't need it too often, but when you do need it, it comes handy. Getting frustrated here. Might have to turn the old TV off. Got an Allen wrench that holds that in. And I keep slipping off. And then this thing comes on out every time. And it's starting to irritate me. There. Nah, I ain't pushing my luck. I might cut threads in later. Right now I'm gonna clean this mess up, put a long bolt in there and see if it uh see if it'll work. <clears throat> Alright, I guess I gotta blow the rest of the threads out. Of course this is stuck in there now. All right, that's uh, enough of that. That was starting to make me irritated. Now if I clean all this 
crapification that I got on here off, horizontally challenged everything else. Get this, get this, get this. Put the lid down so when it falls over, it only spills a little bit of a little bit. All right. Get this that I don't need. Get this. Get well. I need that to wipe off the thing. I'm not cleaning it up. You know me. I don't clean up too much around here. Um, I just moved it to a. As Jeffrey would say, I'm horizontally surface challenged. And I got a feeling he's right. All right. I'll just blow that off. Let me see if I can find a long nine six half inch fine thread bolt. See if uh, where did that other screw go? Of course, I lost that already. We're going to see what I can do now. Now this isn't this isn't the right setup, and it might not might not work. And I didn't do much cleanup down there. stuck on I'm stuck on that table <laughs> see that's how you're you kind of hang in the saw I don't know if you can see that it's a hanging but I was having a hard time picking it up and I was afraid it was gonna slide down on me when it was coming down so and I kind of like to put a couple of what you're not supposed to use oak boards up there because the metal ain't gonna like it. now if I'm lucky, I guess I better put my mittens on so when it crashes it won't hurt me so bad. I think you're in a good spot to see what I think I'm going to try to do. Um, but the end of that needs to be reshaped like a actual saw bench, hammering bench. And I think I'll do that. This might... Look at that. Didn't want that to do that. But it, it swung up as one of the This is a heavy blade. I don't know what thickness it is. I might mic it. Just for that. And it doesn't slide. It doesn't slide on this wood, which is what I wanted it not to slide. Did I put the right side up? I think I put the wrong side up. Yeah, I wanted to flip it over. Crap, guys, you know, you guys ain't helped me a whole lot on that one. There's a word for that. Well, let's see if this bench will work for getting it back down then. Which, uh, I put the wrong side up. I meant to flip it over. This side here is done. So, you bring it over. Ooh, it's still slippery. Of course, 
that board. There's the end of my bench. There's my nail or screw. Yeah, it needs to be a little bit longer. Well, that ain't too bad. Get my other board out here. Because the teeth don't really make any difference. Uh, I can't slide it up here. Yeah, on it. You can't see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to slide this other board up here. Now we can flip it around. Come back up. Had to bite on the ground a little bit. Now come over to where that bolt is. There we go. That wasn't too. I think that works a whole lot better. Then they just tip it over like that and bring them up. Now I can clean this side up and that'll keep it at, um, from scratching. Well, how to make a saw bench or a, a big table to work on things. That, was, that turned out pretty good. If I, if I get that piece fixed up pretty good and remember to take it out so I don't walk by and take half my hip out. Anyhow, I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm going to finish cleaning up the other side of this and then I'll bring you back when I start taking the uh, inserts out. So, thought you might find that interesting. I did. See you later now. Bye-bye. Uh...